What's good everybody, my name is Alchemy, welcome to the channel. Today I've got a nerdy video for you, which is how I sidechain now in Bitwig using the transient split, which is pretty awesome, but before we get into that, I'm getting ready to go live pretty soon. I go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Please come in, say hello. I usually do a beat from scratch, start to finish, and would love to have you there to come in and just say what's up. That being said, what we are going to do today is grab ourselves a transient split because this thing is super cool. It will allow you to isolate your main fundamentals into clicks. So for example, if I were to just showcase these drums, they are kind of long and they sound like this. But when you throw a transient split on here, you can see that if you turn the decay down, it will sound like this. If you use a transient control inside of the transients, it sounds like this. And this is great because it solves so many problems with not having to use a ghost sidechain or having to send in a little click impulse in which to trigger a sidechain like if you were to do with an Ableton. And it allows you to throw this on your main fundamental group. So what I usually do is I have like a whole drum bus and then I have my fundamentals and then I have my percussion. But usually I'll throw the click sender or whatever as a group on just the fundamentals, which would be like kick, snare, rim, shot, clap-ish, so to speak. And that way it'll just pull out the click. You do want to make sure to mute this unless if you're trying to boost the transients. But once you have that down, then it's, it's done so. So we can grab a tool or use anything that will take an audio sidechain. You can also use compression if you want. But I usually just duck the gain of this. And that gives me a lot more control in which to... Uh, dictate the time of when the, I guess, ducking comes in and out, right? Because if it's a really long sample, then it's not even going to start using, you know, the, the envelope until the rest of the sound is finished. But with the click, you've got all this time in which to play with. So this is a really stupid and simple idea, but hopefully you'll get the point. <laughs> Yeah, so very easy and hopefully that was informative to you. It's not necessarily perfect, but I do think that it's a cool way and becomes much more convenient for somebody like me because it just brings down that next level of finer control in which to uh, manage your dynamics. So thank you all for watching. Check out alchemy.com or check out the stream later. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time. Uh, yeah, could you guys also like the video? I'd, I'd appreciate that too. Bye everybody.